Hey guys, it's Glam Game Rebecca, and in today's video, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight types of unboxings that I need to get done. So we're gonna start here and work our way this way. I have so many boxes to unbox, it's not even funny. And I have been using the makeup out of these boxes because I haven't had the time, and I'm actually in between shifts right now. So I have um, a ton of the copacetic cutie boxes to do. I have three trend mood boxes. I have three boxes of fur color pop. I have nomad stuff. I have Davina cosmetics. I bought some stuff from Odin's Eye. I have an Ipsy and a boxy charm. I have. stuff to do so what I'm gonna do is start with my ipsy and then we're gonna work through so I'm 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 gonna record until it quits and then I'll just chop these up into different videos so you're gonna see the same pajamas in several videos and yes we're sitting in front of the closet here because I've been like decluttering this entire room um, I'm leaving for Florida in a little over a week and so I need to get all of this shit put away because I have that room over there to get done too um, because I may be coming back from Florida with my daughter because dad's kicking her out so that's a story for another video. Oh look, now my camera wants to flash at me like the battery is dying. So I don't know how long this is gonna work. So I'm gonna start with the Ipsy. So I have an actual Ipsy box and I have a BoxyCharm box, which means this was the last BoxyCharm box I got. Let's see what the paperwork says. Treat your heart. BoxyCharm Planet Woman 0323. So this is from March and it's November 12th. Um, so the one item I'm actually using, it's up there. This is the Il Maquillage Mascara. Let me grab that. Actually, do I have one of these box? I got a duplicate of it, but I will just grab it really quick. Okay. So this mascara, I'm gonna have to zoom this in in the camera. It has one of these like plasticky ones, but the little bristles on it are super short. And I don't know why, but I had these people blocked on social media. I don't know if it was because of that stupid foundation ad that they had paid all those influencers for, but I actually really like the mascara. So the mascara, it retails for $27. It says for eyes to bat your way out of parking tickets. Well, you should never try and do that anyway. So I've already been using this. I really like it. Um, the next thing in here is from something called Asology. Oh, there's another one in here. Asology. Well, you know, we'll just grab the next thing that's on here. This is Dew of the Gods Squalene and Oat Milk Microdermabrasion Dry Erase Facial Scrub. This retails for $33. I will probably use this. I really love my Good Molecules Pineapple one, but I do love um, face scrubs and stuff, especially with my dry sensitive skin. I'll have to try this out. I like using these in the shower. You know, like you put the powder in and you put a couple drops of water and then you mix it up and then go. Works really nice. I also use it on my neck, my chest, the decolletage area and my upper arms. So I am looking forward to using that. This is another reason why I haven't, I need to get these done. It's because I have all this stuff that I need to use or that I can't use because it's sitting here to be done. Um, this one here, are you in this box? There's more, there's more items in this box than there should be. Okay, this is supposed to be near. This is the Give Them La La Bronzer. It says, dip your favorite brush into this new bronzer and apply the f uh, to the face to blur textures. This retails for $26. Uh, it says Barbados is the color. Let's see if it will even match me. Oh no, this is, this is way too dark. Way, way too dark. Um, 
there's no way I can use this. So I will be selling this on, um, I, I list stuff not only on Poshmark, but on my website and they just reactivated my Mercari account. So I'm listing stuff slowly back on there again. So this will go on one of those websites for sale. And I usually mark the price down. The next thing in here, oh, that's what the Aceology thing. This is Aceology Hyaluronic Acid Intensive Repairing Biodegradable Mask. This retails for $59. There are four masks in here. I hate sheet masks. I hate that they're snotty. I hate that they're wasteful. I hate, I hate sheet masks. So this will be going to, so there's two items here that I will be selling. I'm just gonna put them back in the box. Um, so we got one, two, three, four. And then the other one is a lip stain which is this one here. Can't read the writing on the box. It just says Mordita Lip Stain from Reina Rebedali. R-E-B-E-L-D-E. -E -E. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. This retails for $16. It looks like KBD stuff. Looks like KBD stuff. What color is this? Oh, I will never use that. It looks like one of those like brown color correctors or the orange color correctors guys use for like beards and stuff or like a medium to dark skin tones for like dark circles. That's what this looks like. I will never use this. So this will get sold too. So there's three items in this box that I will not keep, but I got a $30 face scrub, the 50, wait, the $27 mascara. I'm gonna keep, I really like that. And then there's these other things here. Did I have another one of these boxes? Because, I don't know. So I'm gonna set this to the side because that's got stuff in it I'm gonna sell. Then I have this box. I have two things of Ipsy stuff over here too that were in that box, so I'm not quite sure what that is. This one here says April of 2023. Talks about the deals and stuff, doesn't say what's supposed to be in the box. So, one, two, three, four, five, oh, that I bought. One, two, three, four, okay, so these extra items, I don't know where they came from, but I'll go over them really quick. I have another Il Nakiage mascara, which I already have one that I'm using, so I don't know if I need to keep a backup of this because I have like three new mascaras that I'm using. I need to throw out almost, almost all my other ones. So this one here, I think I'm gonna sell that as well because it's an extra one. And again, that's $27. This one is the BDB Billion, oh, billion Dollar Brows Brow Conditioner. I don't need this. I have really nice brows. Um, can be worn day or night under your favorite brow makeup for a priming effect or worn alone at night to help nourish your brows while you sleep. I have really great brows. I don't need this. So I'm going to sell that. I don't know what that's worth. This is a liquid touch weightless foundation from Rare Beauty in 230N. Wow. Well, it's super separated. trying to touch the applicator to my hand. Well, it's plenty yellow, but I'm gonna have to zoom in on the camera. This will never, this is like way too dark for me. Even if I like blend it in, this is like hella orange. I won't be able to wear this at all. So this is going to go. I don't know where it came from. It's probably from another Ipsy box that I that got trashed or something. This is the Creme Shop Swipe Right Brow Gel. I don't need this either. I think it's white. It says it's clear. Let me look. Hello? Hello? Yeah, it says it's clear, but it looks it looks white. So since I already have like plenty of brow gels right now, I don't need this. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this as well. So I will be selling this. So now I have one, two, three. Gosh, I have a whole bunch of stuff in here now to sell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven items to sell. This is a Beauty Bakery palette. 
it's called proof is in the pudding i will not support this brand because the it's supposed to be a black owned business but the guy who also manages this business is an absolute asshole to his female employees it's widely known that there is misogynistic stuff that goes on with this brand even though a woman was supposed to have created it um so the palette is beautiful but i won't use this i don't wear neutrals so this is going to go as well i'm just going to put it back in its little dust cover because i'm not going to i'm not going to waste it i i i don't know i've heard too many bad things about the way he, things are handled in their office and how badly they treat the women in the office and that's just for a female owned black owned business it's really sad so this is going to go as well not that I wanted to keep it anyways because it's legit a basic bitch palette and I don't wear stuff like that. This is Saturday Skin. I've been hearing a lot about this brand lately. Saturday Skin Carrot and Niacinamide Moisturizing Cream. And I'm almost out of my Kapari moisturizer so this is perfect timing for this. Hopefully it doesn't burn my skin. always patch test and yes I have a bruise here on my forearm from a IV so let that sit before I have to go back to work I have like 30 minutes so uh, so this I'll definitely be keeping I don't know what this costs because I don't I'm guessing these all three of these things came from this but like none of them it doesn't have any prices or anything on it but. And I'm debating on whether or not I want to do like Ipsy again. Like if I do one of their bigger boxes and get to pick, you know, the items, then I might go back to it. I've been kind of on the fence, but I have so much shit right now that I need to use up. I need to wait on that. This is a Dr. Brandt mineral mask. This is, uh, helps unclog pores, reduces shine and exfoliates. I do like a mud mask and I, I like Dr. Brandt, so I'm going to keep this. This is the YC Collection Eye Primer. I love stuff from YC Collection. It's a Japanese, Korean. It says made in China. I think the brand is in Korea or something like that. And I'm fixing to buy the one from, um, I'm trying to squeeze it up just so I can see if there's any color to it. Looks like it's beige. Um, there's there's two primers coming from Davina Cosmetics in like the next week or so. So I think I'm going to pass on this because I want to buy hers instead. And their products usually run anywhere from $16 to $25. So I, I really highly recommend their products. But like I don't need that. I'm going to wait and buy the other one from Davina because I prefer to support her. This is from Belle en Argent. Belle en Argent. Um, this is a fine print liquid eyeliner. The box is kind of crushed. So let's see. Oh, is it purple? Is it? Is it purple? It's black. So I will definitely keep this because I have some black eyeliners that are starting to dry out that I, I need to like replace. So this was perfect timing for this. And the other item that was in here, this is something that I actually picked up from like Poshmark. Um, I also have a face moisturizer that I picked up. Um, Hey, Jason. He just walked by. He's probably in the bathroom. Anyway, so I picked this up. I'll leave a photo of the other one that I picked up from Poshmark on the screen. I actually got this and the other one in a BoxyCharm. And so um, when I found this on Poshmark for like a really reduced price, because this is like a $70 um, AHA problem, uh, product, um, I was like, ooh. Cause I didn't want to spend like $80 for it on like Sephora. This is from Juice Beauty. This is a stem cellular anti-wrinkle retinol overnight serum. I can use this every night and I don't have issues with it. So I really enjoy that. I have a Strivectin one that I've been using, but I can only use it like every other night because it makes my entire face. If you look, my entire face is like broke out. And if I try and use it every day, I'm nothing but zits everywhere. So I know my face is kind of mad at it. So, um, the other product is a daily moisturizer from like Gold Fadden MD. Um, like I said, I'll leave like a picture of it up here. I really enjoy that and it's like a $128 moisturizer and I'm not spending that for it. So I found it on Poshmark for like 18 bucks and I picked it up there. So that is all for Ipsy and BoxyCharm stuff. Um, 
So I'm keeping the scrub, the moisturizer, the liner, of course the mascara I've already been using and the mask and then everything else I'm going to sell. So basically I spent $50 for the box and this is well over $50 worth of products because you know each box is $25. Um, and then the rest of that stuff I will just turn around and sell and earn some money back on it. Um, so that's the Ipsy side of stuff and now I'm going to go charge my battery and then we'll do ColourPop next and then we'll do Trend Mood and then some of the indie makeup and then we'll do, I'll wrap up everything with my copacetic stuff. I have so much copacetic stuff over here. It is not even funny. <laughs> it's insane how much copacetic stuff I have. So I will see you guys in just a bit. Um, and yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Um, should I maybe look at getting the one where Ipsy does it like four times a year? Cause they do have one of the subscriptions where you only get it like four times a year, but it's like, it's called the icon box, I think. Um, I think it's the icon box, but it's like 50 or a hundred dollars or something like that. I would be inclined to looking into it if somebody is interested in that. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. This is recorded on, um, Sunday, November 12th, 2023. So I will see you guys in the next video and just a minute. Have a great day.